Largo Resources is a venture-listed company whose stock has rebounded from its January lows. According to our guest, the company's been doing everything it can to deal with low vanadium prices, uh, which over the past year have plunged close to record lows, although they have come back as well. We're joined now by Mark Smith, President and CEO of Largo Resources. He's in New York. Mark, always great to see you. Thanks a lot for joining us. It's our pleasure, Andrew. Thank you for the opportunity. So your basic activity, you're mining vanadium in Brazil, and is this a Correct. significant mine, globally sp speaking? Absolutely is. Um, there's a lot of people that use the term world class, uh, but I think our ore deposit actually is, by definition, world class. Our ore grade is two to three times higher than the next best resource in the world, Andrew. So we have something very special here, and we've been working very hard to make it a reality. I'm very, really happy with uh, how things are progressing in the company. Let's look at the stock over the past year. You've actually had to go through two fairly big equity raises. Correct. Yeah, they were two big equity raises, one last year for about $75 million Canadian, and then another one in March of this year for $26.8 million U.S. And I think it really goes to show the support that we have from our shareholders and the belief that everyone has in the success of this company. Now, you have a customer in place. Glencore uh, has a 100% offtake agreement for the vanadium you produce? That's correct. That's been in place for over two years now. We have four years left on that contract, and they've been an outstanding partner. Uh, the, you know, the terms of that agreement are very simple. We produce the product, we take it to the gate of our mine, and within 20 days after they take it, they pay us. Mm -hmm. And they've hit every single one of those payments on time. So just remind us, vanadium, it's traditionally been used to produce very high-quality steel. Uh, is that still the main market? Absolutely the main market. Andrew, but, but the exciting part of this market is actually in some other places. There are high-tech uses of vanadium, the vanadium redox battery, uh, chemical uses of vanadium, and then uh, some very uh, high-grade vanadium applications where it's uh, alloyed with things like aluminum and then used in the aerospace industry. Mm -hmm. And with the exceptionally high ore grade that Largo has in its resource, we're actually producing some of the, the best quality vanadium pentoxide in the world right now, and Largo is very quickly going to be moving into these specialty applications where the premiums are much much better for the vanadium. Now, last year, v vanadium pentoxide, I know the price drifted below $3 a pound at one point. Your costs were about $3.50 a pound, so you are losing money. Update us th on that, because I think the vanadium price is more like $4 now. Yeah, just last week, the high end of the, the price range hit $4 a pound. So this really puts Largo in a whole new position where we can make money on every single pound of vanadium that we're producing. And I'll tell you, that feels a lot better than it did in December when prices hit a low of $2.25 a pound. Mm -hmm. That being said, that caused a market reaction, though, Andrew. And what we're seeing now is the supply and demand reaction to pricing. Prices got so low that although demand is staying very, very steady, supply has really decreased quite rapidly. People have gone into bankruptcy. They're out of business. Mm -hmm. And Largo is there to stay, and it's largely because of that world-class resource we have in Maracas, Brazil. Some investors may look at you, though, and think, Brazil? I don't want to be getting involved with that, with all the political chaos. You know, I've, I've been doing business in Brazil for over 16 years right now. Uh, no doubt that there's, there's chaos there. I think one could say there's chaos in the U.S. There's chaos just about every place. What we have found is that Brazil is a wonderful, wonderful place to do business. And it's largely because of the support that the country offers us. Remember that 100% of our debt is being supported by Brazilian banks. On top of that, we have a Brazilian workforce. And I have to say, Andrew, that one of the, the finest attributes of Brazil is its people. They're warm, they're genuine, they work hard, and they have been delivering on everything we've asked them to deliver on. So I have uh, absolutely no problems at all doing business in Brazil. I look forward to going there every time I go, and I think it's a great place to do business. So we've less than a minute. So right now, you don't anticipate Largo will have to go back to the market, raise financing, raise bank debt? You know, the only reason that we would even consider that right now, Andrew, is because of these, these really uh, high...
high grade vanadium technologies that we can enter into right now. So for instance, vanadium redox batteries, you need to produce a vanadium containing electrolyte. Okay. So we may need a little bit of capital to put those uh, pieces of equipment into place, but that's kind of the extent of what we're talking about. Okay. The company is really starting to, to place itself on solid ground now. We will have to leave it there, Mark. Always a fascinating story. Okay. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Andrew. It was a pleasure. Mark Smith, President and CEO of Largo Resources, joined us from New York.